sending them all over the place. I've discovered a lot of clans, um, just a lot of just stuff going on. Um, one of the problems, though, with discovering so many clans is they have all discovered me. And, um, yeah, so I've had the Mori clan, which, in some sort of weird uh, clairvoyance, uh, have decided to kill me. So I'm now at war with the Mori clan. They are really powerful clan too i mean you can pretty much see from my powers weak the mori clan is strong um i have zero allies considering the only people i've had good dealings with is their allies that sucks and uh the miyoshi clan and the miyoshi clan i was planning on killing so i never joined up with them uh, my assumption now, though, is I'm going to need to immediately become allies with the Miyoshi clan and hope both of us together can take the Mori clan. But if you look at both of us, um, we're really weak. The Miyoshi clan and me, I control three territories, and the um, Miyoshi clan controls two territories. Interestingly enough, though, the Mori clan only controls three provinces as well as me and they somehow um, are much stronger than me Ooh, I have had some good news too though so let us see what happens after this war is declared yes tiger's claws and such um, yeah I really wish I didn't have to go to war with the Mori clan but that has been taken out of my hands now. Although, if that's the Mori clan right there, I'm not really afraid of them. Because that's their three provinces. And they're on the complete other side from me. Of the island from me. So the chance that they're going to come and kill me anytime soon is uh, fairly low, I think. And it would be great if I could somehow convince their allies to betray them and go and kill them for me considering they're actually on the island together so this may not be as bad as I thought and it seemed they just declared war on me because I happened to show my face over there yeah it won't if is yeah so this is the Mori the Mori clan own these three provinces right here Hokai something and then this one here. Um, so this is actually not too bad. I think what I will do in response is create some boats uh, just so I can have some defense is going on here. Um, that'll probably be good. Love four boats. So we might actually get to have a sea battle too. So that, that'll be excellent. Um, oh yeah. So here's my money, and like I said, I'm making a lot of money now. I think I will start building up an army. Oh, man, it takes four turns to make the matchlock Ashigaru? Ah, uh, that's a little disappointing. But um, I think that's all that will be made from here is the imported Ashigaru. From here... I'm going to um, make Katana Samurai, and I think next turn I will work on upgrading um, Sa Sanuki some more, since that'll probably be the main focus of the Miyoshi War. I I've decided, since the Mori are all the way on the other side of the island, I, I don't really expect them to be a problem. By the time they got over here, one, I would see an army coming through this pass here, so that's unlikely to hit me really anytime soon at all. The only danger would be if the um, uh, Kigawa clan decided to go to war with me. That could definitely make things difficult, but I think for right now, I'm just going to continue my current plans. 
Uh, some good news, though. Uh, we have gotten a new general. So I'm going to take my daimyo and actually send him back here. Now, I'm not going to have him in the main fight just because of how dangerous the multiplayer matches seem to be. So when I actually get back to fighting somebody, I don't want him in danger. It's just too easy for the players to pick off your general, and if they killed the daimyo, I'd really be screwed. So he's just going to sit at home for a while. He'll cover the... Um, home islands defense so if anybody shows up i'll have an army with him probably make a little bit of a army here so he can deal with that if anyone shows up also if the battle goes badly with the miyoshi clan if they decide to go anywhere other than to the sanuki castle and they decide to go down this way well if they do that I also won't have to worry about it because I'll have a couple of forces situated down here. So that is my current plan. We're going to fight the Miyoshi clan soon. Even though the Mori clan just declared war on me, I'm um, basically I'm going to ignore them and hope they leave me alone. Aside from that, I'm going to try and make peace with them as soon as possible and continue to basically trade with everything i already control all of these trading posts out here so i'm getting a lot of money from them and this boat down here that discovered the mori clan um is going to go trade with these guys so hano oh I, c I can't get this one because somebody already has this trading post. But that also could be the reason why the Mori clan declared war on me. Considering for anybody to take over or to get these four trading posts, they have to declare war on me to go and get them. So that probably is what pisses off a lot of them. But, um, well, they're just going to have to deal with it or come kill me. So the very first thing I'm going to attempt to do is say, "Hey Mori, do you, do you want to not not a uh, want to kill me? No, you you really want to kill me? What if I give you money? Cause I'm making lots of money. Um, how about we pay repeatedly? A uh, hundred gold, we'll say." A hundred gold for ten turns. That's like a thousand gold. You do not like that. You want your trading post or to go to war with me. That's okay. I will try another method then. Since these guys are friendly with me, though they're fighting a lot of people. They're at war with the Miyoshi clan? Well, that's funny. Um... Uh, so I want them to demand a break with the Mori clan. Because that would just be great if they would go and kill the Mori clan for me. So they don't really want to do that. Um, I could threaten them, but they probably would laugh at me. So, as long as they're not killing us right now, I suppose it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try and make them a little bit happier with me. Just to try and really hope they do not want to kill me. Because the second the Kikwawa... Yeah, he likes it. Good. Don't come kill me. And then I guess I'll just build up troops. And take out the Miyoshi clan before these bastards come in and take part of my island. Because it's... That I would not accept. Uh, quick save, I think. And in a few more turns, I, th I think we will actually be at a place to go and kill someone. So, see you all in a few more turns. Whoops, I don't know what I'm clicking. I'm clicking. So, uh, things have gotten a little worrisome. The Mori clan <laughs> has 
decided to come over and attack me. And they are bringing a little bit of a scary army. So, but, as I did say, I would have a little bit of warning if they decided to do such a thing. Now, I don't quite think I need to ally with the Miyoshi clan. I, I have zero plans to do such a thing. Because I don't want to peace with the Miyoshi clan and then have to turn around and kill the Miyoshi clan. So, um, the plan right now is to get my main force uh, in a place where it can defend wherever they decide to land at. And, um, for the most part, just continue building up my force. Uh, like I've said before, I'm really far behind where I would like to be. Um, I am getting the castle built here. And then pr after that, though, I can't really build anything else. So it's just kind of going to sit here for a while. Uh, another good news, though, or I should say the only good news, considering I have the Mori clan about to crash into me, we have a new general, which can come join this army. This, this right here, though, I feel is a pretty good army. We got a couple of katana samurai, a couple of bow samurai, um, Yariashigaru still are a main part of this force, disappointingly, but we have to deal with it. But we also have our secret matchlock Ashigaru weapons, though. Although, that'll become slightly less useful. Uh, or not, they won't become less useful, but harder to build if they decide to take over my port. Um, I have been trying to make a navy, though, since the last video, but uh, this is currently the navy two boats in port I can't tell exactly what they have over here but uh, a lot <laughs> that's what I can tell you they have a lot so my real only hope is to beat that don't know what they have in there how badly it's gonna hurt but the main hope is to definitely destroy that army when it lands and I'm hoping I can I hope they go for Io at which point um, this army will be inside of Io and then once that army gets inside of Io they really will have no chance of getting it the one thing that I wish I would have had time to do which is build this I mean, I can start it now, which I think I will, or maybe I should build troops. Um, whoopsie, off clicking. Uh, yeah, I would think I will build me some more matchlock Ashigaru and um, try one, one last hope that the Mori clan will not attack me. Oh, actually, before I do that, though, I have a bit of more news, too. So, my allies that were here, which were the blue guys with the lines, yeah, these guys came in and just wiped them out, and they currently have eight territories. So, they own all of this all the way up to here. Which shows more of a reason that the Mori are just dumb as shit to come over and try and kill me, but... We will have to go put them in their place. The bad thing about this fight with the Mori clan in the, in the end is that it makes me take even longer to kill the Miyoshi clan. Because right now, if I did not have the Mori problem coming to kill me, I would have gathered up the forces, walked over to the Miyoshi, and would have killed them off. Sadly, the Mori clan has decided to think they can take me on, which, navy-wise...